Hello, what's up everybody? It's Ken once again, and we're here with a new tutorial, but we're not using Vegas, we're using Adobe After Effects CS4. Now, um, I'm not in the usual place that I record or make AMVs at, because college crap just started back, so I'm trying to make this real quick, and if my mouse is doing something retarded, shut up, computer. Um, yeah, well, um, that's because I don't have my crap on the desk. I'm actually using it on a bed and all this crap. So, anyway, um, I'm gonna show you how to do the hexagons I use, and I didn't make them up. I got them from Corsair AMV. Everybody probably knows that, but not everybody knows how to make them. And anyway, I've had two people ask me that because Super Gear Pro asked me. How to do them and King of Luxus asked me how to do them. So here's the thing, and this is how I do them. There, it, you can do it in Vegas, but it takes too many layer, uh, yeah, layers, whatever. But anyway, we're gonna get on with this. So okay, sorry. All right, shut up. Okay. So obviously you got Adobe open. Get your composition made and all that done. You make this 3D kind of motion blur just because it makes it better. Then you go get a new camera and then you get a new null object. You got 3D, parent the camera to the null. Now, that just may, I don't know. I just do that just because usually in Adobe I make I, I move stuff around with the no object by doing that right there. But um, I don't know if it's necessary for this. I do it just because. But anyway, next you click on this. You go up to the top. The rectangle tool. That's a mask. See, top up is a mask one. After that, you click on the pen tool. Add a Another anchor or whatever here or anywhere on in between all these, so that way you'll have yeah six of them. So if you want to make the hexagons or whatever or whatever the freaking things are, oh crap, you can do that. Then you switch over to your selection tool and begin to make hexagons or whatever this is. I'm calling them hexagons. No, you gotta, you can either do it this way, or get like a picture of one and do the mask over the picture and then delete it, just, just delete the picture. And I have no sure far way to tell you how to make a perfect one without the picture. But, um, I guess that's good enough. Well, um, after you do that, you know, you got that there. So, um, just click on that and click back on the mask so all the little things are selected so you can just easily just drag it over here. You don't have to drag it over here, but it's just like easier to do stuff. But oh crap. Okay, there we go. Hit the scroll thingy. Next you hit click on the mask thing. Copy. Click back on here. Paste. Paste, paste, paste. Keep clicking on that and hit paste. All you're doing is making extra masks. So if you click on this mask, boom. Click on the next one, boom. So obviously you have seven of these. Hex I mean eight of these hexagons. You can put them where you want them to come from. So if you want them for them to build up here or just come out from different places, just put them everywhere. And, oh yeah, and if I'm your selected one and you're trying to figure out which one is selected, the ones that are selected, their their little anchors are squares, so it's circles. See? Okay. So then you just have to do the mask path and all that good stuff. Go over a few, like, to the beat that you want to come in on. Click on the mask again. Oh, we don't do that. Okay. Oh, okay. I'm just going to list one of us. And go here, and then so on and so forth. Do it again. 
for this one mask of hell. Split them here. And yeah, just do that for all of them. All that good stuff. Obviously, I messed up on that keyframe. Now I'm going to move it over to and then just hit that. Right over there. So, bam, bam, and then da 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 da. But, um, you know, this is the Frankenstein clip I used in the um, Legia thing. But, um, anyway, um, I'm not going to tell you what effects to put on it because then I don't even know what Corsair uses on all this. His is still more polished than mine. And plus, I don't want you to completely copy mine. So since I've taught you this, I'm gonna have to figure out a new way to um, be creative with my dubstep a little now. But um, this is the, this is mainly good for dubstep in my opinion. It's not really good for anything else or like that transition, I guess. But um, uh, I'm trying to figure out what else I'm gonna tell you guys. Da 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 da. But yeah, I don't know. That's good enough. If y'all know, I can't figure it out by that. You know, just ask me. It is not working for you, and I will try to help you out. But anyway, guys, I will see you all later. Write any comments about what you want to learn, and I'll see you all later.